Hi, everyone. Um, people say that luck is all about being in the right time at the right place. Uh, for that definition, I feel I'm one of the luckiest person in the world. I walked into MIT for my PhD study in September 1981, which was the exact same month that the TCP IP specifications, RFC 791 to 793, were published. My advisor, Dr. David Clark, was the internet's chief protocol architect at the time. So he handed me the RFCs and said, these are hot off the press, go read. That started my 40 year journey with the internet. Not only I got to the right place in the, at the right time, but I also got to know the internet pioneers, starting from Professor Ligleider to Paul Barron, Ventisurf, Bob Kahn, Steve Quaker, and John Pastel, with whom I actually worked uh, on the project very closely. So I got the chance to learn from them directly. But in particular, uh, my advisor, David Clark, taught me how to do design uh, network protocols, and more importantly, how to think architecturally. After graduation from MIT, I joined Xerox Palo Alto Research Center, Park, and got a mission for myself, help the internet grow. I watched with my own eyes how the internet grew from a design to a global success. In the late 90s, however, I also noticed how the deployments started departure, departing from the original design with the middle boxes appearing in many places, such as network address translators, content distribution network boxes, and in particular, firewalls showing up everywhere. As a researcher, one has to get to the bottom of the issue. Why are those middle boxes? Are they just a reflection of a growing pain or are they indicating something much deeper? I didn't have a clear answer until later uh, after I started working with uh, Van Jacobson, a well-known internet pioneer on several projects. And the effort eventually led to something uh, entirely new. So Van was the first to sketch out a brand new way to do networking. He said, instead of using addresses and connections, a much better way is to use application named data and the securing data directly. We call this new architecture named data networking. Van and I, together with a team of students and colleagues who share the same vision, uh, have been working on the Indian development since 2010. You can see that it has been a very long journey, a challenging one, but also very exciting. To my mission of helping the internet grow, although I have done a few pieces of work earlier, this Indian effort will mark my biggest contribution to the internet. I think the internet age has just started how will, the, how will the internet look like 40 years from now? I have no clue. But looking back where we were 40 years ago, we know that the world would be fundamentally different and better than what we have today. As the saying goes, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And that gets me up early every morning uh, to work on it with excitement, and with the whole internet community together. Thank you.